Yo, you're watching Shirko and Riot just dropped the dev diary for patch 2.3 and as you can see in the title, we will be reacting to it and trying to dissect it. Quick little disclaimer, this is going to be my first reaction. I didn't watch the video first before making this video, so it should be super authentic. Let's get right into it. Hey everyone, I'm Alan Moore, Wild Rift's Game Director. Let's go, man. Today, we're looking at the four new champs headed to this patch, an update on runes, we're releasing some of the most exciting skin lines so far. Ooh, okay. Upgrades to now, a lot of these things were obviously leaked, right? Like the Battle Academia skins, uh, all the new champions. We've already seen all of that. They already teased the Irelia. But hopefully we'll see some new stuff as well. Let's check it out. Now, this already seems like something new. Close friends. Okay, so they will put the little friendship uh system in the game if you guys never played any other mobile mobas uh most of them have like a couple system where you can play with your girlfriend and uh, get rewards together and also with your best friend if you have if you are a little bit of a duo queue trio queue soy you can uh, pair up with your best friends and earn more re rewards and stuff by playing together and leveling up that friendship by the way i will pause a lot because this is a reaction so i <laughs> Get ready for the To hitting the rift with friends. Welcome everyone to patch 2.3. We've probably seen all of them, up, right? We have four new champs joining the open beta. Let's take a look. Yep. Ooh, she's looking clean, the man. The Exile is a versatile melee fighter with a ton of outplay potential. When she was introduced back in 2011, she was originally designed to be like a fighting game character being able to string together combos with her abilities and basic attacks. When Riven activates her ultimate, her blade becomes fully reforged, empowering her even further. We can't wait to see the big plays you all make when Riven launches in June. She looks, so, I mean, the model, we can all see it. It looks absolutely amazing. Quick little thing about Riven. I wonder how the animation cancels will work because that is what makes her one of the highest skill cap champions on the PC version of this game. We'll see how that will pan out on mobile. We've already seen Aurelia, that. Aurelia, the blade dancer, is also on the way. Aurelia has a host of tools that let her dart from target to target, using her blades to stun, slow, and defend in barren lane or mid lane. Aurelia's first ability, Blade Surge, works a little differently in Wild Rift. We noticed during development that dashing to multiple low health minions with precision was not easy to do. So, aiming with Blade Surge will automatically prioritize marks or low health targets, and tapping will continue to prioritize champions. This may take some getting used to, so we'll Wait, what? Again? We'll continue to prior automatically prioritize marks or So, aiming with Blade Surge will automatically prioritize marks or low health targets, and tapping will continue to prioritize champions. This may take oh, some getting okay. used to. So the first ability, the Q, if you just aim it, it's gonna uh, actually prioritize the low health. That's actually really good. That's a huge change. I was really worried about how Irelia is gonna turn out. So he's saying it very quickly because he needs to be quick for this video, but I'm gonna try to explain what I understood. Basically, whenever you would aim the first ability, right? Let's say you're playing Katarina and you have to aim to your daggers and stuff. Similar thing here, or with Yasuo, you want to aim through the minions. Uh, it's really difficult. It's one of the hardest mechanics in Wild Rift because it's really hard to aim that small little reticle over the uh, low health minions. And with Aurelia, they're actually going to do so it prioritizes the minions and the low health targets and the marks. Um, so you will always be able to reset it. So let's say there's a full health minion, or let's say there's a, a low health minion. And there's a champion right next to it, right? And you're trying to aim onto that low health minion. But usually, if you aim into the general direction of a champion with an ability like that, with, let's say, a dash ability like a Jax uh, Q, you would actually jump onto the champion. But when aiming, it's gonna... Uh, they change the mechanics for specifically this ability, so it actually prioritizes the low health minions so that's gonna be so fun guys i was really worried about i really i thought she's gonna be really janky to play but this is a chapeau right because this is a great change this should if it's not bugged if everything works perfectly this should make i really are super smooth to play 
and super fun to play as well. And if you're in a quick situation where you have to just tap and just kill the enemy champion as fast as possible, it will still prioritize the lowest enemy champion if you just tap the ability. So hey, beautiful, let's keep going. So we'll be providing more tips and tricks as we approach Aurelia's launch. Beautiful. Really looking forward to Lucian mid. to announce that Lucian the Purifier and Senna the Redeemer will be fighting back the darkness later in the patch. When played together in the duo lane, Lucian and Senna make an intimidating pair. Lucian's quick fire abilities and attacks are complemented by... And just a quick little uh, note here. Listen to the music, man. It's such a banger. I remember when Lucian came out on PC League of Legends, that was the client music when you log in. It, I was just sitting there before I log in, just listening to it. It was, it's such a banger. ...by Senna's slow, powerful shots, and you're able to finish enemies off with their huge ultimates. We join Lucian and Senna in the middle of their fight against the Ruined King to prevent him from corrupting Rune Terror to reclaim his lost love. But his power is growing, so who knows who will fall to Ruination next. In patch 2.3... Okay, I mean, Lucian Senna, they're gonna be super fun. Um, not much else to say about them. They don't really have any special mechanics or anything. I think the Senna passive with the heal, uh, but you can just aim it probably. It's gonna be super simple. Uh, I don't think th they didn't have anything special to say about like Riven with her animation cancels or Irelia with her very uh, uh, finicky uh, first ability, her jump. Okay, moving on to gameplay here. We're looking at some of the rune choices available in game and think that a few of them could use some love. One of the biggest changes is that the Keystone rune Kleptomancy is being replaced with Phase Rush. After hitting an enemy champion with three attacks or separate abilities, you'll gain movement speed. This is the rune to pick up if you need to relentlessly chase down your target to secure the kill. There are also a few other changes we're making to minor runes to help add some variety to rune setups. Regeneration, Spirit Walker and Backbone are being replaced with Second Wind, Bone Plating and Adaptive Carapace and we're updating Mastermind and Sweet Tooth. You can read the full list of changes in our recent patch 2.3 dev blog. Now let me just go back real quick to check out the phase rush proc again. After hitting an enemy champion with three attacks or separate abilities, you'll gain movement speed. This is the rune to pick up if you need to relentlessly chase down your target to secure movement speed. We didn't really see it, right? Or is it just a really low... Kleptomancy is being replaced with phase rush. Okay, there we go. After hitting an enemy yeah. champion... The blue little animation, it doesn't seem like it's an uh, insane move speed increase, but it's definitely going to be nice. Now, uh, about this rune change, I don't really have much to say. I'm going to put a little card top right in this video right now, so you can check out the rundown I already made about all of these rune changes. As uh, he just said in the video as well, they posted a very in-depth uh, like update list on their website, and I already went over it, so if you want to check that out, it's top right. Uh, of this video in a little card right now. Okay, we can move on to the next, you can the friendship the system. Close friends. Let's see. If you've got a lot of friends on your list, but you have an extra special connection with a few of them, you can now invite your besties to level up together. You can have up to 20 close friends and pick between four different labels. You and your close friends level up by playing together. First, playing in a party and gifting each other, strengthens your connection in game giving you in-game flair and a way to look back on your memories together close friends also share their owned champion pools in co-op versus ai and normal pvp games okay in addition you can now subscribe to any three friends to receive in-game notifications when they come online or finish a match <laughs> the friends you subscribe to will also be displayed on top of your friends list that is at subscribe, by the way. You can also subscribe on YouTube. It's a very nice little system. You can subscribe right now. You can help out my channel. How about that? Uh, but yeah, that's a good system. That's a, that's a really nice update. It's going to help the longevity of the game because oftentimes people play these with their friends and now they will have a reason to play um, together even if someone is tilted, you know, they you can say, come on, man, let's level up together. Let's play some casual games. I just bought Aurelian Soul. You can try out Aurelian Soul 
uh, because we share the champion pools. That's actually really cool. That's a really nice system. Okay, next event. Now that, this is gonna be very nice to check out. Let's see what it is. It's really good to go blind in just a things. few days time, the Broken Blades event begins. Pick Aurelia or Riven Ooh. and complete missions tied to your chosen champion, each with unique rewards. Through this event, you can earn either Aurelia or Riven for free. Okay. Turn your skills, sharpen your blades, and seek to mend what once was broken. Okay, so the same as um, same as the Kha'Zix and Rengar event. Uh, I got cocked. I picked Kha'Zix, but the uh, Rengar won by 50, 51% versus 49. So this time I'm going to pick Aurelia. I think she's going to be a little bit more, uh, you know, more of a choice for most people. I, I hope at least. Let me know. Let me know what you guys will pick in the comments below so I know what to pick so I'm on the better side this time, okay? I want to win this time. Ranked. What is ranked going to be? Come on. That's sick. That's most relevant for me. In July, we'll begin Wild Rift's third ranked season. Okay. You've still got a few weeks to get your hands on Jinx, but we wanted to give you a quick July. preview of what's waiting in gold when season three rolls around in July. Ooh, that's a good skin. That looks good. Man, these skins, these skins are always clean, guys. We have to, a uh, they're giving us some nice free skins. But, oh, I, he's not saying anything anymore. Look. Yeah, that's that's it for ranked. I thought he's going to maybe give us an update that there will be bans. Guess not, man. Quality of life. Okay. As with every patch, we're still listening to your feedback on some small quality of life features to make your experience a little bit better. We've added a dual 4G Wi-Fi option so that okay. you can use the fastest connection that nice. you have available. Backed by popular demand, we've re-added the ability to see details about your connection before heading into a match. There's also a tool for you to diagnose your connectivity in the match that you just played. In Ranked Champ Select, we've added the ability to switch draft order Ooh. so you can better coordinate on your picks. Also in nice. Ranked, the in-game scoreboard will now automatically be sorted by position. Oh, okay, We're nice. We're turning down the frequency of just how often the in-game announcer talks about turrets. And we've made a bunch of performance improvements, including loading into the game faster and lowering the initial download size by around 300 megabytes. Not bad, not bad. Okay, uh, all of these are always nice to see, you know, the ping stuff. Very nice for a lot of people who struggle with uh, ping issues or really... I think a lot of people will benefit from the Wi-Fi and 4G dual thingy that is always really good in these games. So uh, yeah, nice updates, nice updates so far. Let's check out the skins. Lots of them already leaked, as I said. Finally, we'll be hitting up some of your favorite skin themes from League later in the patch, like Pool Party, <laughs> Battle Academia, <laughs> and expanding... <laughs> the current arcade offering here's a quick look at some of the Ooh, other that's a sick skin man wait is that battle boss ziggs on pc let me know in the comments below if you know that because i don't think it is that that looks sick oh yes zed okay that is my most anticipated one order of the lotus nice pretty good I like that skin. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not too big of a fan of this Lee Sin skin, but I know a lot of people love it. But uh, so that that is always a good release. Like you can you can queue the enemy and then backport while the queue is on the enemy. Okay, before you jump to them, and he will he will like drink a coconut or something. It, it's it's kind of funny. It's a nice little BM skin for the little soy boys around you. Ooh, that's something I'm looking forward to. That is the best Ezreal skin in my opinion. I hope Battle Academia Kedarina is here as well. Ooh. Oh, is, is Arcade Kaisa on PC? I don't think so. Is this like an exclusive? Is there a lot of exclusive skins here? Ooh, that's sick. That 
that's all from me. Thank you so much for your continued support. Wait, no Battle Academia, Katerina? I think it was leaked though, wasn't it? I have no clue. Anyway, there's already the outro. And we hope that you're as excited as we are for patch 2.3. We're looking forward to hearing your thoughts and feedback. But we do have one more thing. Oh. With Ruination approaching, there is no For the light. And all lost in darkness. Who was the first voice? Was it Lucian? Or was it Viego? Or was it Thresh? Or was it Hecarim? I have no clue. I am not a lore Andy. Is there anything leaked here? I don't see anything. Ooh, man, they tease us, man. These little teasers, bruv. Anyway, guys, that is it. I think that's a great... Uh, blah, 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 blah. I think that's a great um, little dev diary. I think we got a lot of information. I feel like a lot of stuff that got leaked already in that Chinese leak uh, from the Chinese beta test is not here yet. So I think there's some more skins, I think. But again, I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments below if you know any more stuff. And yeah, that is going to be it. Let me know if I was a good reaction Andy here. If you like these kind of videos, if you want me to react to more stuff like that. And um, yeah, thank you for watching. Subscribe, uh, ring the notification bell, leave an algorithmic comment if you have nothing to say. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.